Hey guys, well it's Monday today, you know what that means, right? It's Deep Dive Monday, okay? Let's jump in. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Deep Dive Monday video. Well, I decided to mix things up a little bit, so we're going to talk about rigging and constraints and whatnot, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the pin constraint, okay? Now, how does that work? Well, I'll simply take a polygon sphere, hit Control D to duplicate it, hit W to move that over, and what I'll do is I'll hit Shift D a couple of times just to repeat that, right? Okay, so we've got these spheres going on here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my first sphere, Shift select the second one, and I'm going to go up to under FX menu to fields and solvers. I'm going to go down to pin constraint and open up the option box. Now I'm just going to leave everything at default, make sure this is set to pin, and I'm going to click create. As a result, a pin constraint has been created between sphere number one and sphere number two, and I want those on the others as well. So I'm going to click on my second sphere, shift select the third, hit G to repeat last command. Select the third, shift select the fourth, G to repeat, fourth and fifth, and G to repeat. So these are basically all linked together in the sense that they, uh, their destiny is linked, if you will, right? So uh, by default, when you add an, a pin constraint to these objects, they become rigid bodies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first sphere right here, and I'm going to add a force to it. So let's go in here, uh, let's see, to fields and solvers. And let's see, what are we going to do here? Let's add air. Okay, we're going to go in here and the, the magnitude, let's uh, bump that way up. That's kind of cool. Let's hit create. And then we're going to go in here in our uh, animation slider, set this to 500 and hit play and see what happens. And as you can see, they take off with a vengeance. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my little runner here and uh, let's see i just want to make sure that we can see this all right instead of play every frame let's do uh, half okay it's saved there we go and let's hit play again and as you can see what happens is all the others move along is that neat or what right And it's basically slinging them around. Okay, let's uh, just jump back here so we can show it again. So keep in mind that there's a pin constraint between each individual sphere with the next one. This is the only one that has a field um, applied to it, right? So in this case, it's error, but you can also go into the attribute editor and uh, let's see, we'll remove that error field. We'll go in here, we'll go to fields and solvers and uh, let's do gravity, okay? Let's go in, we'll hit play, and there you go. Now keep in mind, because I'm working with um, half speed, it's pretty slow, but that's what you get, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. So be creative and come up with all sorts of fun solutions to apply this uh, little uh, rig uh, constraint here. And that said, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.